Hi there, my name is Eric and I play bass and today you're getting a phone film video uh, with my new iPhone nonetheless, which actually looks pretty darn good and I don't even have my good light with me, so that's always something. Anyways, I just want to talk a minute about, you know, all of this and how I managed to reduce my entire gigging setup to the Quad Cortex, the Keith McMillan 12-step and the Line 6 Relay G70 wireless. So... Yeah, I mean, all in all, this shouldn't be a problem to, you know, use for anyone who wants to play keys and bass at the same time. Um, the problem that I had for, uh, you know, this past summer was that I needed to have uh, an additional pedal to switch between the patches in main stage, which we got going here. So um, we're doing a bunch of maiden tunes. And, I mean, it, w it would all work uh, without an additional MIDI switcher if it wasn't for the fact that we're doing a Stranger in a Strange Land, for which I need to have uh, three different patches going. So, to get around that, I actually found a pretty neat solution. So, I'm using the Neural DSP Quad Cortex to change the patches in main stage. So, look here. I'm clicking on uh, the Evil Death menu. It changes there, and it also changes here. Would you look at that? That's for uh, playback, that's for when I'm doing uh, backing tracks, uh, or, you know, pre-recorded stuff, as for the Asus High intro. Uh, I'm running a MacBook Pro, I don't know how old it is, it's pretty old, but it works pretty darn good, actually. And I'm using the Radial USB Pro, uh, to send a stereo signal to front of house. This is a great and solid DI box uh, for keyboards and stuff like that. I mean, I can't recommend this one enough. It's great if you're using stuff like Mainstage. Um, anyways, <laughs> so what's nice about this, like I said, is that everything um, fits on this board. And how I did that is I'm running MIDI out here from the Quad Cortex into, oh, let's, let's see if we can, it's pretty hard to see here. There it is, uh, into this one. This is the, uh, oh, what's it called? The MIDI something from Keith McMillan. Um, MIDI expander, that's the word. It's the Keith McMillan MIDI expander that I got hooked up to the 12 steps. So this uh, USB-C port is going into the MIDI expander which, you know, allows it to read additional MIDI messages. It's uh, it's easier than it looks, actually. It also uh, supplies power to this whole operation. Anyways, so what we got going here, I'm gonna flip this over for a second so you can see. So everything is running on the Chux DC7. I'm, I'm using the, let's see, there it is. The USB output is uh, actually powering the mid expander. So here you can see, here is where the quad cortex uh, MIDI output goes into. And uh, we've got the expansion port, that a gray one. Uh, and the black one is the power uh, supply, I should say. So what's neat about this is, like I said, when I, uh, when I press a foot switch here on the quad cortex, a MIDI message is sent uh, from the 12 step over the USB cable into my MacBook, which changes the patch in main stage. Um, and that is just great. So how I did that, uh, in case someone else is doing this, because it's always like that, there's always someone else who wants to do this. So here you go. So here's how I program this. Um, on A, it's sending this message. On B, we got that one, C, D, E, F, G, H. So it's pretty darn simple, actually, and it just works. I mean, it's 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 really great um, to you know <laughs> to have this um, reduced setup. Um, I previously thought I was gonna need the Novo 24 board, which I mean, it's been working great. 
but we're playing a pretty small venue this Friday and I don't have room to have the big ass board I needed to have something smaller. So I'm running this board into the EBS Magni 502 in which I've actually got this one, uh, the Suncoast LM1 hooked up in the fix loop. These are my uh, rehearsal shoes uh, because you need to actually practice with correct shoes. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, this is actually pretty darn cool. So what we got going here in main stage is I've assigned a program change. And as you can see, this is patch number, uh, patch number four. And, uh, you know, when it gets the MIDI message for program change number four, it changes to that one. And I've also loaded in this one. It's a, just a MIDI output, which sends a program change uh, to the external device which is uh, number four. So when I'm um, patch number four, uh, the 12 step get, gets a message to switch to um, preset number four, which is uh, the solo patch for uh, Stranger in a Strange Land. And we're going back to the main riff. Uh, got the uh, English horn for Fear of the Dark. Got some tolling bells for Hello Be Thy Name. Uh, some large strings for the clansman, nice patty stuff for the left mendu, and yeah, <laughs> just wanted to share this. Um, everything is running on the Chex DC7. Really, really happy with the fact that I got this work. I don't know why I didn't think of this this past summer. I guess I was too, you know, caught up in myself to figure this out. It was really, really easy. Just using a this is an EBS flat patch uh, cable, flat uh, use uh, MIDI. Sorry, flat MIDI cable. Going into uh, the Keith McMillan MIDI expander here on the back, and yeah, it just works. Really happy with that. So there you go. This was uh, this week's uh, pretty. Uh, I don't know. Uh, guerrilla style recording but hey it works um really stoked about this gig this pa this coming weekend it's gonna be fun gonna be using this bass for that of course with the um you know west ham strap and everything it looks great sounds great lots of fun so with all this being said and done make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell and um, i'll see you guys and gals and the cats and dogs in the next video until next time take care Bye.